Hi, welcome to Hopping Chef. I'm Chef Priyanka and we are going to make today a salted caramel. Up all the chef's sleeves, we have the hero of all the desserts, salted caramel. Let's begin. Take a pan which is light colored so that you know what the color of your caramel is. Add a part of sugar. I'm using the confectionery sugar. Two parts of sugar to one part of water. Water is to be added just for not letting it burn. Okay, I'm going to take my eyeballing for this one. And stir the pan so that you don't have any crystals of sugar left behind in the pan. And the sugar is completely dissolved in the water. We'll keep it at a low flame because caramel is something that gets burnt very fast. So we don't want to mess on that. As you can see, there are bubbles of sugar that's melted, that's in the pan. At this stage, we need to be very careful and swirl the pan time and again. As you can see, the sides of the pan have already turned golden. But I think we need to wait a little more time to get that perfect golden caramel color. Also remember that be very careful with the caramel. Car caramel can burn you to a third grade. So don't pop your finger in and lick that thing. Slowly the color is changing. As you can see, I'm only using the pan to rotate the caramel. I'm not using any wooden spoon or any kind of spatula. Understand why? Because the sugar will crystallize on your spoon and will get off the pan. Now you can see the color has almost reached the color that we are looking for. Just a minute away. Take the pan aside. Let the heat be there. Why? Because now I'm going to add cream. Be careful at this stage because your caramel is boiling. Stir vigorously until the cream is dissolved. Get your pan back onto the heat and add a dollop of butter to the sauce for that sheen and glaze that you're looking for and stir it well into the sauce. If you like your salted caramel a little less uh, caramely, then you can stop it at the stage where it was golden brown. I like mine a little more burnt, that little burnt. As you can see, the sauce is bubbling away. Make sure that all your butter has dissolved in and here you go, your salted caramel. But one trick left. Turn off the gas, put it away from the heat and wait for it to cool down a bit. What do you want after a long tiring day? This luscious salted caramel over your bread. All the therapy that you need. Now that the caramel has cooled, let's pour it into our bowl. And the last trick that makes it so delicious is the sea salt that goes over the top. And here you have the luscious salted caramel. Truly divine. The best part about it is you can make it at home and store it for a month. So ditch those preservatives from the supermarket and make one for yourself. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe and it's Hopping Chef.